Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. You might already know me from my Instagram or TikTok. There I regularly post short tutorials and animations of my art. If you are interested, feel free to check it out and leave some likes or a follow. That would help me a lot so that I can continue to create cool tutorials for you. I link you to my profiles in the caption. Today I'll show you how to create this cool chain animation in Blender. The bonus parts for Adobe After Effects are no longer available. If you are still interested, you can find the files on my Patreon. Let's go Art Invaders, press the X key to delete the camera, the cube and the light. Now we come to the 3D object. We start with the chain. First go to Add in the bar at the top, then Mesh and select Torus. Use the axis cross at the top right to optimize the view. For this it is best to select minus Z. Also change the view in the upper right to the line view, so that you can transform the torus better. Now go to the edit mode in the upper left corner. Select the half of the torus and move it to the side until you get the typical chain object. Now go back to the object mode. Now duplicate the torus by selecting it completely. Then move it to the side and rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis. After that you select both elements and press with the right mouse button on it and select join. Then you move the chain elements to the axis cross of the workspace. Then press with the right mouse button and go to set origin and then origin to 3D cursor. Now we go to modifier properties and select array there. At factor x select 0.85 and at count select 7. Now go to add, then mesh and select cube. Now go to object properties. Go to viewport display and under display as, select wire. We also go to the visibility sub item and uncheck renderer. Now scale the cube so that the whole chain is covered. Now select the cube, right click on it and go to set origin and then origin to 3D cursor. Then go to edit mode and select loop cut on the left side. Position the tool on the cube until a yellow line appears and click on it. At the bottom left you can now increase the number of cubes. I take 50. Now go back to the object mode. Select all elements and press command plus A and select apply scale. Rename the layers. I call the chain chain and the cube soft body mesh. Now go back to edit mode. Selects the start and end points of the soft body mesh. Now go to the object data properties. Press the plus and then press assign. These are the end points that do not change during the animation and therefore hold the chain. Goes back to the object mode. Select the soft body mesh and go to physics properties. There you select soft body. Then go to goal and then to vertex group. There you insert the group you just created. Now go to strength and increase default to 1. We also go to edges and set bending to 1. Now select the chain and go to modifier properties. There you select surface to form. Under target select the soft body mesh and press the bind button. If we press play now, the chain is already animated. Now we insert three torus. We position them in the places where we want the font and the two clouds to hang. After that you select a torus and go to the modifier properties. There you choose surface deform and select the soft body mesh at target and press bind. Repeat this for all rings. If you press play now, the rings will move with the physics. Now we create the angel pendant. Go to add at the top and then text. Go into edit mode and write a term of your choice. Go back to object mode and go to transform on the right side. There you can enlarge the text. I use 5 for the x and y axis and 4 for the z axis. Now we go to the object data properties. Under extrude we select 0.1. By the way you can now switch back to the 3D view. At font regular you can insert a font of your choice. 
I take virtual rave. After that we go to bevel. There we select profiles. There we enter 0.05 for depth and select cornice molting for preset. Now we duplicate the text layer and set extrude to 0.2 and depth to 0. Now we insert a torus as bingelide for the text. Now select all planes and right click on them and go to convert, and then to mesh. After that press with the right mouse button and press join. Finally, right click again and select set origin and then set origin to center of mass. The pendant is ready. Using the same principle I add two cloud elements for the rings that are free. Now we fit all the elements to the soft body mesh. For this we press unbind in the mod fear properties for all layers. Then we go into edit mode and select the soft body mesh. We also select the surface in the upper left corner. Now we select all the faces where the followers are underneath. When you have selected all of them, press the E key and move the mesh down. Now we go back to the object mode and go to the modifier properties and bind again all elements with the mesh. In addition, we add surface deform to the modifier properties of all the attachments. At target we add again the soft body mesh and connect the other followers. If you press play now, all elements are animated. Ok the chain is too elastic. To solve the problem we click on the soft body mesh and go to the physics properties. There we enter for bending too. Now you can work with keyframes, so that rotation and position changes take place. As you can see, there might be some disturbances. To solve the problem select the soft body mesh and go to the physics properties. There you go to cache and press bake all dynamics. When you are satisfied, select all elements, press the right mouse button and select shade smooth. Now you can make the soft body mesh invisible in the layers window. Now let's move on to the materials and textures. From here on you can customize your artwork by using other environment textures, materials, bump maps and colors or by adding additional objects. You can also leave it the way I do it. Feel free to send me your questions or final results on Instagram. I will answer them all as soon as possible or repost your artwork as a thank you. Well let's move on. First we split the view in two, so we can see our 3D object and create a material at the same time. To do this go to the side until A plus appears and drag the window to the side. After that we change the viewport shading in the upper right corner of the 3D view. We change the second view by pressing the icon. There we select shader editor. Select chain and create a new material by pressing the plus button. There you set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0. Rename the material and add it to the other layers as well. Then switch to the world mode. Search for environment texture and insert an image of your choice. I take a HDRI sky. To adjust the colors we also search for hue slash saturation. Try all values to get the best result for your environment texture. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used for the project. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. You have the choice between 3 packages. For 5 euro per month you have access to the project files. For 8 euro per month you get the benefits of the first package plus exclusive access to my Adobe After Effects files. There I edit all animations additionally. For 12 euro per month you get the advantages of the other packages plus earlier access to my tutorials. I hope there is something for you and thanks for the support Art Invaders. To give the graphic a stronger dynamic, we animate the environment texture. For this we search for mapping and geometry and connect them as follows. We animate the Z value now. Go to the beginning of the animation and set a keyframe with the right mouse button. 
then go with the slider to the end of the animation and enter for rotation Z, 90 degrees and set another keyframe. Blender automatically creates an animation which is slower at the beginning and at the end and fastest in the middle. To keep the animation running at the same speed we go to the graph editor in the lower left corner. There we select the animation curve. Then we go to key, then interpolation mode and change to linear. Now we insert a camera. Press on the camera icon and place the camera on the right place. Under output properties choose a suitable format. I animate the camera so that the chain slides into the image and is visible in the center of the render region. Select the camera and go to transform on the side. Set a keyframe at location by pressing it with the right mouse button. Now you can play the animation and move the camera to the position you like. Don't forget to set a new keyframe every now and then. Now we come to the final settings of the camera. Have a look at the following sub items at render properties. Check the box Sabian occlusion to simulate shadows on the 3D object. Also check bloom to create shine and glow effects on the animation. So check the box screen space reflection. There you can adjust the reflections within the animation. If you need a transparent background, go to the submenu film and check the checkbox transparent. That's it. Well done art invaders. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Do you have any theme suggestions or want to know how other artists created their animation? Feel free to send me a message with the theme or example pictures on Instagram or TikTok. I will make a tutorial about it. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. I am glad about every support. Thank you. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload one to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.